Hello and welcome to Sound Insight. I've been asked how I use the track versions in Cubase and what's the difference between the show lanes. For example, here we got the vocal recordings for a TV commercial and when I edit them, I always want to have the original as a backup. So I can do this, I copy them and now I cut it and perhaps I delete this one and do this and do this and so on. And here I got the original. But most of the time I got a lot of takes and it's getting very complex. So here is my method. I go to the track versions and say duplicate version. I name the first one original and this one for example is edit or one. Now I can edit everything, delete this and this and so on. And now I can go back to the original. And another great thing, now I do the duplicate function again and perhaps I use the time stretch feature and we don't have the possibility to put the length of the part to the original length. I can stretch it to the right a little bit but I don't know what's been the original length so I can take it from here. Now I have always access to different versions. Here is another example for track versions versus show lanes. I activate the show lanes. You can see I got four different audio parts. And when I play this part, after this part, I can hear part three. So when I don't want this, I got to mute this one. And when I want to hear uh, this part, now I got to unmute it, press one, and I want to activate this one, I can use this feature, or I can choose this finger or hand. And when I want to hear this one, I got the same problem. I hear it from here to here, and here I got to mute this one again. So there's a solution. I say duplicate, this is version one, duplicate version two, version three, and so on. And here I do this, I go to the second one or I can delete all the other ones and this one and now I can switch very fast between the different audio parts and there is another way I got a lot of lanes and now I go to project track versions create versions from lanes and now I got all the different lanes in the track versions. Very easy. I can turn them on. And I can do the opposite. Go to project track versions and create lanes from versions. And now I use the show lens and the track version together. I want to automate the cutoff with my controller. Now it works. And I choose this one. And now I want to add another MIDI track or MIDI part inside the bus track. Now 
now I duplicate this one and say down fast filter. And I remove this one. Now it works. And now I do it faster. And now I can switch between the two versions. Easy and fast. And there is another reason why I love the track version feature. I got two steel drums. And I will record three different versions. Now I select both tracks and choose new version. And new version. Now the great thing is, I can choose between version 1, 2 and 3 for both tracks, you can see it here, 2, 1 and you can see it here too. And now I can switch during the playback. This is great when you record with a lot of microphones, for example, drum recordings. And there are a lot of other exciting videos for you. For example, I show you how to create a click track for the music piece that has been played free without a click. Or learn how to use pitch shift and time stretch in Cubase. And you can see how I composed the positive tension score Love Arrow. So leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new episode. See you next time.